<laughs> not everybody's got perfect face like the Bentis, you know, model-esque. And so some people go under surgery. And one of those surgeries that they do to tighten up their skin is a facelift. But the doctor's TV show found a dentist that does some type of dental procedure that does a facelift for you. Let's check this out and see exactly if it's the real deal or not. Coming up, what if I told you a simple dental procedure okay. have the same effect as a facelift? Okay, first off, I'm trying to figure out what dental procedure could be a facelift. And I actually, I have no idea because nothing I know of affects the, the skin of your face. My teeth totally suck. I don't like them at all. A lot of people say that. I, the perfect bite for me would be straight white teeth. It sounds like she doesn't need a facelift. It sounds like she just needs braces. Facelift Let's figure it out. Procedure DDS. So we got an implant dentist in here. The natural process of aging is where our face begins to move down, our teeth begin to wear shorter, our bites begin to flatten, and our jaw begins to go back. He's actually not wrong. As you age, you will wear down your teeth. Your upper lip actually gets lower, and your jaw will become closer together because you've ground your teeth down. That's why you get those people that kind of look like this because they don't have any teeth and it just keeps going down. Um, so he's definitely not wrong about any of this. Now he is a restorative dentist. Now, what that means is they do a lot of crowns and full mouth rehab. So they may look at something differently than an orthodontist looks at it. I would look at it and say, maybe we should just straighten these teeth up with braces and everything like that. A restorative dentist may say, we need to just do crowns all around. So I'm interested to see exactly where this goes. It's very hard to eat because your teeth don't contact. So when you try to chew, yeah. It's kind of a struggle. So this is actually what we call an, a posterior open bite, or the back of your teeth are open. We see this a lot, and it causes some bad issues. It's only wearing on your front teeth, which is terrible. They're not meant to have that much wear, and they will break off. And so we do need to fix this. Now, in braces, what we would do is use some rubber bands to pull his jaw back, and we would expand his upper jaw and you know, get everything fitting again. So let's see how he tackles it. We're just placing them on the teeth. So what we're doing is we're sliding over the, the top of the teeth and notice how they fit the gum really nicely. So as you can see here, he actually went the route of the non-braces route, which is what exactly what I was talking about. So what he did is he's putting veneers and or crowns on these teeth to change the shape of them to fix the bite instantly. It's gonna cost a lot of money and it is going to be instant, but there is a lot of ramifications. You're drilling away tooth structure. You're doing a lot of things that you could have just done with your natural teeth just using braces. And that's something that I would rather save your teeth, but let's see how it continues. Maybe there's something I'm missing here, so we'll see. There was absolutely no pain. It was not painful at all. So I not a big fan of this approach. I think facelift dentistry is kind of a misnomer too because it's not doing anything to your face. Basically, he's just saying, I don't want you to go do braces. I'm just gonna fix it by drilling all your teeth and replacing them with veneers and crowns, which honestly, I don't know if I agree with. Right, there is no plastic surgery, no Botox, no wrestling, all the work is done on the teeth to maximize the patient's jaw position. Through what does that have to do with the facelift? The animation of a, roughly a 25 year old girl who is getting gradually older. Face begins to sag, the bite's getting worse. That's gonna happen regardless of if you have this treatment or braces or not. You're still gonna age. Deteriorate and what the object of facelift dentistry is to completely reverse that. All this is gonna do is, is put you into a better bite position and potentially ruin some teeth. The level of health we're doing for Alan is repositioning his jaw and reducing all of the stress level that's in his face, his neck, and his jaw. You could have done that with braces. Also, I like that he's bringing up stress because stress is the number one reason you clench and grind your teeth at night. A lot of people think it's your bite, but actually it's just stress. Who would have thought? So he's had trouble eating. He's had trouble just at rest. Oh, that's true. Hurt. We tested it and we put in the upper teeth last night. And Alan oh, baby. is smiling. That's a good thing. Yeah. Her. Yeah. With Barbara, she came in similar problem to Alan. And so she would actually show me where she wanted it to be. And what I did was build a test appliance similar to what I did for Alan. And after testing it, Barbara called in like three days. I'm ready. So basically what he's saying here is he made temporary crowns and veneers. You place them in so they can kind of try on the look before you go permanently reduce the tooth structure and take them out. We could go back and forth all day on this. I'm a proponent of saving the teeth and doing braces. He's a proponent of taking the teeth away and changing the structure immediately, which that makes sense. That's what he does. He's a restorative dentist. I'm an orthodontist. People look at things differently. And Barbara, how, how do you feel now? I'm so happy. I had a receding jawline. Dr. Muslin just got it. So I'm 
over the moon happy. I've never heard of a receding jaw jawline, but yes, it definitely will change your life. When they get that done and they look at their teeth, they're like, whoa, my whole life has changed. It's really, really cool. They have a before and after of you. Uh, before ooh, great, a before and after. Let's check it out. This is great. This is great. We can take a look at here. He, you know, he's putting these things over the top of the teeth. So he's making the teeth bigger. In orthodontics, we would have just made the teeth wider using some wires. Obviously, he's changed the shape of them. We do a little bit of that. It's called Hollywood or enamelplasty. That's where I will shape the teeth in different areas. You can see her teeth are much longer than they are here. And also, it looked like they just taught her how to smile a little bit better too. She's what we call grimacing like that instead of just a nice natural smile. You can do a lot just with smile, but I mean, it looks like they did a really good job and, and they got her occlusion in a good spot. Who am I to judge if they wanna do that and they're happy? I just want people to be educated on both sides and make that a you know decision for themselves. So remember what I was talking about earlier, as you get older and you grind and wear away, your nose and your chin will get closer and closer together. So I'm assuming that's what he's meaning by face lift. He's actually changing the vertical dimension of occlusion. And that's how far we bite down. And as you get older, your nose and chin get closer and closer to each other, becoming the wicked witch of the West. And if you're in dentures or you have no teeth, it gets really bad. See the people overlapped like that. So what they did is they did increase that and that causes all these muscles that are overactive with closing to kind of just be stress-free. And it does look a lot better, I'm not gonna lie. Now in orthodontist, we would do this by pulling the teeth down and moving them. And here he actually made the shape of the teeth bigger. Still pretty cool. You know what else is cool? You liking and subscribing to this video. And you can see in the before picture, he's worn mm -hmm. his teeth down and his face is collapsed. He has a short, round face, very typical of a 50, mm -hmm. 60 year old man. Yeah. This is Renette. I mean, she great. has the opposite problem of Barbara, and that is, is that her jaw is forward. That's what we call a class three bite when your lower jaw is for the under right. Class two is over right, like that. And yeah, I mean, basically, that's all he's doing. He's basically doing full mouth restorative orthodontics at the price of drilling on your teeth. And it's also way more expensive and it's also possibly going to make you lose some of those teeth later in life all these crowns can now pop off if you're doing a whole entire mouth top and bottom just think if one crown fails that's like three thousand dollars out of your pocket and you got 32 of them <laughs> it's very very pricey it's very expensive you're looking at almost 50 to a hundred thousand dollars to do a treatment like this where braces is like six to seven thousand dollars one time so completely rebuilding her bite we were able to get her jaw in a natural position so this looked really good i mean i, I do kind of see how he said the facelift industry you know my thoughts on it back and forth um but you know we have to also remember that adults more than often do not want braces they want instant gratification they want it now they got the money to pay for it and you know even some of them are old enough that they're like eh, 20 years to deal with all those it's not that big a deal now if they were like 15 that's a really long time of your life to have to live with dealing with these 32 crowns and so honestly i would personally recommend braces for you if you like the shape of your teeth and got two years a year and a half two years to fix it if you have no time to fix it you hate the shape of your teeth then maybe this option is best for you but either way it can be served you need to Talk to your dentist and your orthodontist to figure out the best plan for you. Next time, I will get into something else. I don't know, crazy reactions, anything else. Let me know down below what you want me to do. I love you guys. I'm the Bentist. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace!